All right, here we go. So, we got one of the, the YouTube big dogs in the building right now, DDG. What's good? Yeah, man. I'm an artist, though. Yeah? I'm an artist. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Well, you do both. I'm going to do both. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love YouTube and everything, yep. but you know, I'm trying to let people know I'm an artist. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of an interesting transition these days where you go from like a YouTube personality to an artist. Yeah. And, you know, you've seen you've seen multiple people do that. I mean, with Cardi B probably being the biggest one. Yeah, but, but she it's, was like it's, a, it's different, though, because I come from YouTube where, you know what I'm saying, it's mostly kids that watch it. Mm. And on top of that, I'm vlogging. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B didn't really vlog. She was just on Instagram making funny videos. But, like, it's harder to come from YouTube to be like an artist. So it's like, it's kind of unheard of to be real. The most of the people that come off YouTube, they've been singing and all that or been rapping on YouTube. But me, like I was just vlogging. So it's like, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bunk is in the process of, of yeah, doing man. it. Uh, I guess Fatboy SSE, yeah. he's in the process of doing it. Yeah, There's been a few. It's, it's a shortcut, but it's difficult to make. You yeah. know what I mean? Like a lot of people, that's how you get your following off social yeah. media. Academics, yeah. you know, he's got his yeah. little AK yeah. <laughs> persona. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, it's dope, man. So you actually grew up in Pontiac, Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Born and raised. And you're one of six? No, one of five. One of five. Yeah. Okay. One of five, yeah. Okay. And uh, that was actually kind of rough for your parents, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, my mom worked two jobs. A lot of a lot of stuff went on in my life that I don't really talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's personal or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it was rough growing up for sure. You know, what do you think was one of the one of the hardest things that you had to kind of go through? You know, because you know, five kids, man, that's that's a lot. <laughs> well, the hardest lot. thing that I went through in my life, mm -hmm. um, I lost my brother. So right. Yeah, it was to violence or whatever. So that was like super hard for me. But a lot of people don't notice, so you're getting exclusive information. Uh -huh. So my name, my handle like for YouTube and all that is Pontiac May DDG. Yeah. And my brother that passed away, his PlayStation name was Pontiac May DDB. But I didn't know, I didn't use that at all. You know what I'm saying? So I saw his PlayStation name and I was like, that sound dope. And I took it. So his name is basically something that I took and I just changed DDG instead of DDB. So you're kind of so, honoring him. Yeah, every but time. I mean I didn't yeah. I not in a million years that I think I would lose my brother though. You know what I'm saying? How old were you when it, when it happened? Uh, it was 2014. I was 16 and he was how old? 21. 21. Yeah, I'm 20 now, so Wow, so you so young, man. 21. It was yeah, uh, I, I didn't man, I was it's a lot of signs that I saw. You know what I'm saying? That's like my brother, he he in some stuff that he shouldn't be into. But I never caught on. I'm so young, you know what I'm saying? I'm going out, I'm kicking it with girls and all this, playing basketball, my homies going to school. And I really didn't know that it was coming to that point where, you know what I'm saying, he might be in some trouble. You know what I'm saying? If I knew, like at this age, I'm way more knowledgeable and more wise, and I could have caught that. I probably could have um, prevented it. But one thing that, I, you getting exclusive information. I really rock with your interviews, bro. So I'm gonna Thank tell you, you everything. But um, so the night that he lost his life, right? I was playing basketball with one of my homies. His name Trey. Actually, the dude that make my beats, hmm. he made Javanchi, he made Bang. All oh, his name Trey on the beat. So I was hooping with him, right? And my brother had called me. He was like, "You need me to pick you up, right?" And I was like, "Nah, Trey gonna take me home." That's the same night that he lost his life. So it's like, if he would have picked me up, that could have been me too. You know what I mean? Oh, you could have gotten and Yeah, shot. I could have. Oh, because it happened in a car? Yeah, it happened in a car because oh. he was he was going to pick me up from YMCA. But I told him no. Some told me, he was like, just around with Trey because Trey right here. And Trey dropped me off. I go to sleep. And then my sister come in waking me up. And say, you know what I'm saying? It was it it was really hard. It took some time to get over it, but you know, I realized as I got older, it's just a part of life. So Do they catch the guy who did it? Yeah, we so the thing is, the dude that did it is in jail. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we know, but it's like it's it's a thing in like 
Pontiac, where it's like, it's barely police to be real. You know, huh. It's a small city. If a case is like it take longer than a month to solve, it's probably not gonna get solved. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't know. It's a lot of personal stuff, man. But yeah, I mean. Well, I so was he charged with the murder? The guy who did it? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. So, I'm not and it's been that. years. Yeah. And there's there's no statute of limitations. For something like that, man, that's tough. So you know who did it, but he's never been charged. Yeah, 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 something like that. But you know, I mean, and you're not willing to talk to the police, and no, nah, of course. I mean, we already been dealing with this. You know what okay, I'm so it's like right because I think people take this whole stop snitching thing like yeah. in, in the wrong, you know, in the wrong direction. Like you know, I mean, if your brother got shot and you know who did it, fuck that person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. you know, especially if you had nah, nothing. If I knew who did it, I ain't got no problem with telling the police, bro. Yeah, I ain't got that's nothing what I'm to do saying. with like, Hell no, nah, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with no stop snitching shit. I don't believe in that shit, especially when it comes yeah. to family. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. I don't know, man. Do you know what it was over? Nah, see, that's the thing. And I kinda don't wanna know. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, I don't even wanna be I don't I keep my mind off of it. You know what I'm saying? I just use it as motivation and I use it. Another thing is after that happened, um, that's when my mom got my first camera. So, you know what I'm saying? It kind of pushed me to do YouTube and get this following and stuff like that. So, yeah. it's like a lot of people, nobody knows this. You know what I'm saying? You're getting exclusive information. I appreciate but it's it. like, yeah. That's well, be, man. It, it's one thing to lose your brother, especially an older brother. Yeah. But. How did your parents take it? Nah, it was terrible. It was bad for sure. It was bad. Especially yeah, because you're not mom. you're not supposed to be burying your kids. Not at all. That's that's not the way life is supposed to work. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's a tough time, man. But it was just hard because my mom, she had to take care of, you know, what I'm saying all of us and stuff like that. I mean, my my dad was in my life too, though. Yeah. I want to make that be known. But my mom, it's like we had different dads. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, bro. It's, it's complicated, you know. So that situation happens, and you're still in high school at the time, right? Yeah. Definitely. And you, you graduated a valedictorian? Yeah, I was valedictorian in high school. That's a big deal. Yeah, man. I, I was nowhere near valedictorian. Man, I was, <laughs> bro, I really, really, really was into school. Like, I stay after school, do homework. That's dope. All this other shit, you know what I'm saying? I never took it as, oh, you smart in school, you lame. I never took it like that. I was the coolest motherfucker in school, you know what I'm saying? And the smartest. So it's like, it was like the best of both worlds. And I feel like me being valedictorian and me... Being so smart and into school kept me out of trouble, mm -hmm. and it also taught me things. You know what I'm saying? It's most likely why I'm here, where I'm at today. You know what I mean? Cause Absolutely. I, I know what I know what I'm doing. So you graduate valedictorian, and then you go to college. Yeah. Went to college, Central Michigan University. Okay. Did you look at some of the other schools? I mean, being a valedictorian kind of puts you in a in a spot. Did you think of like going to an Ivy League or or one of the big schools? No, nah, man. See, the crazy thing is, is I graduated valedictorian. I took the ACT, right? I took it about four times. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a scholarship that was like, it was like triggered. Like, you get this, you get this, you get a full ride. Oh, okay. So, I got, I did, took the ACT. I needed a 21. I got a 20, <laughs> a 20, a 20, and a 19. I was like, fuck this shit. I mean, I cried over this shit and everything. You know, I'm in yeah, the school, right? I bet, you know what I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get this full ride. But then I didn't. I'm glad I didn't, though. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. I went to Central Michigan University, met a lot of good people. Uh, most of my most viral videos came from that school. You know what I'm saying? The school I was going to get a full ride to was like lame. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't okay. part. I partied every day. You know what I'm saying? I had fun. Mm -hmm. I got nothing but good memories from college. But, uh, but then you dropped out. Dropped out. After how many years? A year and a half. It was sophomore year. Because I... Uh, my YouTube blew over, blew up over the summer, and I had a ex girlfriend or whatever, and I did a prank on her, and then that hit like two million, and I started vlogging, and then I started doing all this other stuff and all this other stuff, and it just everything piled up, and I just started making a lot of fucking money. You know what I'm saying? 